Good morning, everybody. Again, this is Tūriki de la Mea, former Minister of Immigration and currently the principal consultant for TDA Immigration. This morning, I wish to chat about applying for residence visa under the skilled migrant category. As most of you are aware, the processing of these applications has been suspended for a number of months, and that was following a massive, massive backlog of applications that were already within the system. At the moment, an expression of interest can be lodged online. They're not being processed at the moment, but it's expected the selections for the next invitation to apply will be begin fairly soon. For those of you who believe you may qualify in terms of the points required, I urge you to put in your expression of interest as soon as possible. So if you are earning $25.50 an hour, I think that's the minimum requirement, and you believe you have employment um, that is in skill level one, two, or three, or in any of the designated um, exceptions, levels four or five, I do again urge you to get your application in there as soon as possible. Now, when you get your application in or you start preparing it, the most important part of your application, I believe, is question E3. It's at question E3 that you're trying to convince Immigration New Zealand that the job you perform meets the requirements as set out in ANSCO, the Australian New Zealand Standard Classification of Occupations as to the tasks that are required to be performed in your job. That's where you describe in detail why and how you believe your job performs those tasks. And that's where you should focus um, your energies. Very, very important in my opinion. As, as I said, get the application or the online expression of interest application in as soon as possible. The reason for that is right now, if you qualify, hopefully the government will assess um, your application as at the date you put it in, in terms of immigration instructions. Unfortunately, I can't give you any cast iron guarantee that they won't change the rules. We're in a different world right now. The COVID-19 crisis has hit the world all over, every country, and New Zealand is no different. The responsibilities for this government are first and foremost to the citizens of New Zealand, the residence visa um, holders of New Zealand. And unfortunately, the wants, desires, needs of intending migrants will take second place. And it's possible they may change the rules at a later date. But normally when the rules are changed, they normally start from the date of the change, which is why I encourage you, if you think you qualify, if you've got the English language requirement of 6.5 IELTS or the equivalent, and you've got the salary requirement of $25.50 an hour, then don't waste time, get it in. And if we at TDA can help, um, we're pretty good at these things, um, by all means, uh, feel free to contact us at any time. You can contact us through Facebook, through email, um, by phone in the office. So anyway, um, all the best, good luck. And like I said, if you want to apply for school migrant uh, residence category, get it started now if you think you've met the criteria. Thank you for listening.